I just hooked up with these guys here. They're part of the iMaker community. Uh, they've done some amazing work. Uh, it's 3D hubs. Uh, they're award winners. They're a, a kick-ass startup based in Amsterdam. I got Brian with me and Bram. Um, Brian isn't uh, technically fully Netherlands because uh, he comes from Canada a bit as well. So it's a truly international effort. What they're doing is fascinating because it has a real social enterprise angle. I'm going to stop waffling on because you don't want to hear what I think. Let's talk to Bram first. Bram, what gave you the idea to set up 3D hubs? Well, the idea is that 3D printing is really cool and everybody hears about it, but nobody, very little people have actually seen it. But there's a lot of 3D printers around the world, uh, people there, you know, having a printer doing nothing. So we are connecting them to the people who would like to see the process and would like to have products printed for them. Okay, so, so immediately you're connecting people up within the community. Brian, I, I'm going to ask you. Sure. This is kind of like bringing manufacturing into the social space. How do you, I mean, you know, how do you make that work? Yeah. It's basically, it's decentralized manufacturing, right? So it's instead of making everything in China, it's making everything here. And instead of making one million of the same things, it's making one million different products. So, yeah, that's, I think, really cool. And I don't think people are all the same, so why should they all have the same products? Okay, so... We're talking about personalized production here, but this is the thing that really starts to excite me. Coming from, you know, in my other life, doing a lot of stuff with politics and economics, um, this is going to have a hugely disruptive effect uh, in the world of uh, traditional logistics. It's going to affect oil prices. It's going to affect global economic uh, issues. I mean, where do you guys see us 10 years from now with uh, the, the impact of 3D printing on, on global manufacturing? We, we have the ambition to make the biggest... Uh, global production network, uh, decentralized production network in the world. So uh, yeah. we're, we're bringing production closer than ever to the end user. So basically, almost anyone can 3D print around the corner. And we're already seeing that in many countries now where we're active. Okay, now there's another question here as well, because one, one of the big issues that you hear about is that, you know, globalization, corporations getting further and further away from the people that buy their stuff. And that has a negative social impact. Do you think what you're doing is going to have a really positive impact on society and maybe start bringing the, the corporations closer to the people who depend on them? Yeah, I think it's similar to what music, what happened to music when the internet came about, right? So sharing music became easier. And with 3D printing, sharing products will become easier. And I think in 10 years we'll have like a Spotify for products, right? So you take a subscription, you can print whatever you like in terms of products. Okay, you heard it here first. Spotify for products. If that isn't totally awesome and kick-ass in a way that I'm too old to understand, I'm sure the young people out there will have it going on. Now, you guys, you're a uh, uh, startup, so are you VC-backed? So we are talking to investors currently, but we only started two months ago. Uh, we are in the accelerator program in Amsterdam, the startup accelerator. Uh, which means we have a first investment and we have a set program for the first 200 days. So okay, so, so as someone who's been involved in the startup scene myself, you're two months in, what's the interest been like? Crazy. Awesome. Everybody's putting at us. Users of the platform, press, investors. Yeah. Really? Uh, it's not People want a lot of features and it's just, it's even difficult to keep up with email, let alone keep up with adding features to the website. It's, it's amazing. It's really but, cool. That is fantastic. Look out for these guys. Look out for Brian. Look out for Bram. Uh, look out for 3D Hubs. What's your Twitter ID? 3D Hubs. And go to 3dhubs.com slash London and sign up your printer. Okay, 3dhubs.com slash London. Wait, you can sign up your own printer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You can become a hub in our network. Right? You can become a hub on the network? Oh, yeah. I, I just, I thought the video was going to end. I was building up to the big finish there. But that, that is the money shot. How do we... How does that work? We sign up our printers and we get involved in your distribution network. Yeah, exactly. You start making stuff for your neighborhood. That's the whole idea. Everybody's a mini factory. Wow. Wow. Okay. I need more wine because I just damaged my brain with that. These guys are totally awesome. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Follow 3D Hubs on Twitter. Go to 3D Hubs if you have a 3D printer and register. And if you don't, get in touch with these guys about finding your nearest one. Guys, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you man.